Well, today we have something special. We're gonna have a challenge. I've challenged David Blanton to a rack scoring contest. The trick to this one is we're gonna be blindfolded. And might I add that David likes to talk smack. Today, I'm the guinea pig again. It's not gonna be hard for me if I'm competing against Abby because I kinda know deer better than she does. Don't tell her that. All right, give me the first rack. Obviously a much smaller deer, very thin horned. Mm, it's not a very big deer. Let it be for all times. Extreme South Alabama deer. Feels like a mainframe nine point. Five, six. Did I miss one? I'm gonna guess this 103. 117. Golly, they feel bigger than they are. 98, you're a cheater. You know, I ain't telling the truth. A 10 corner, not very big. Not uh, this one's not that big either, but it still feels like a nice deer. This deer much, had much more than 115. 120. Yeah. I was probably a little bit off on this one. What in the world? You mess with me, this is crazy. I don't think this is a real deer. What is this? <laughs> Woo. Okay. Four and a half years old. Too bad he didn't come by my stand. This, this deer's mom was about four foot tall. Wow, really good brows. Good G2s, G3s. Inline point. I'd shoot this deer on the first day of any hunt anywhere. Solid 150 class deer. I'm gonna say 150. 162 and two eights. That was pretty close. Holy cow. Well, I got beat by one point. You won fair and square, David Blanton. I think you cheated. But there's always next time. There's a much easier way to score a deer's rack other than being blindfolded. Pretty much the hardest way to do it. Go to Realtree.com up underneath deer hunting. From there, you'll find the score your rack tool. It'll take you step by step on exactly how to measure it, and it'll also add it up for you. My phone screen's dirty. Don't act like you guys don't do that. So, for videos coming up this new year, what would you guys like to see? Send me your ideas in the comment section below. I'm always reading them, I'm always listening. Write what you guys want the next video to be. I'm always open to suggestions. And as always, thanks for watching.